officially Christmas season. And you know what that means? It's time for Advent. The Advent of the greatest toy in the world. Between now and Christmas, your child will continuously remind you, or your grandchildren will remind you, of the greatest toy in the world, the toy without which they will not be able to survive. And we will, with great experience, be able to remember what's going to happen to the toy, because it's a very short trip from greatest toy in the world to toy under the bed no one even wants to pick up. Thing is, that's a pretty good lesson for us, and it reminds us really that kids know something we forget. Don't ever hold on to a toy too long. We as adults, we get different toys, and we want to hold on to them, and sometimes it hurts us. There's a guy in, in the Gospel of Mark that Jesus runs into, and he's got lots and lots of toys. He's a really rich guy. And in Mark 10, 21, Jesus looks at him and loves him, the Bible says. It says, one thing you lack, go sell everything you have and give it to the poor. And then you'll have treasure in heaven. And then you can come follow me. See, that man forgot that the greatest toy in the world always becomes the friend of the dust bunny. And we need to remember that every toy in the world is never as good as what God has. No possession, no power, no anything is, is as important as our relationship with God. And wouldn't it be a shame if we miss out on all God has for us because we're holding on to something that really should be collecting dust under the bed? That's your challenge for this Christmas, and that's today's jump start. Hey, if you like the jump start, don't forget to subscribe and like it and share it and maybe even put a comment on the YouTube page.